Hello everyone, I'm giving a hand and welcome back to the Let's Play Pokemon Emeralds. Uh, let me see what the party's like. Well, let's put Mega Steve in the front. What could possibly go wrong? There's an item here. Elixir. Actually, there's something down on this rod as well. Let's switch back to Blinker for a second. I don't want uh, Mega Steve to die over here. Okay, whatever. And tentacle, yay! Alright, uh, let me see. There it is. It's not entirely the most thrilling item, but it's. It's, it's cool that we need one. It's a Leaf Stone, which in this game can be used to evolve a Nuzzle Leaf, which we'll be doing at some point. Right, uh... Oh! <gasps> Kevin, where were you? I was looking for you. How much longer have you gotten? Let me check it out for you. Ready with your Pokémon? Of course you are. Go! Well, why can nobody ever have, wait for an answer from me, okay? Jeez. Okay, Slugma. Oh, okay. This actually wasn't that bad of a matchup. Lombre. That still doesn't answer the question of what starter she has. I was like, okay, well, she's either gonna have Grovile or, uh... Or Marshtown, but I don't remember which one she'll have, and then she sends out Lombre, which doesn't help. Grovile, okay. There we go. Can I knock it out? Nope. Okay. Mirror match. Because I don't want Negative Steve to. No! Crap! I... <laughs> how could I. F how could I have forgotten about that? I didn't. I didn't plan for this. Oh my god. The one time I think I'm prepared and I'm not prepared. Crap. That's not cool. Oh well. It's gonna use Leon to finish this off, man. The best part is that Mega Steve won't be getting any screen time in the next gym either, cause. Everything will have a super effective move, and this time I know beforehand, because it's the gym signature type. It's not like with Norman, where everything just had a dark type move, even though it was a normal type gym. I think they use more dark type moves on me than normal type moves. Okay, rant over. That was a lot of experience. Alright, the trainer may. And Leon is evolving! Meaning it's the first starter out of my three to actually reach its final stage. And there we go! Leon evolved into Sceptile. Which is pretty cool. I like Sceptile. I don't like it as much as the other two, but I still like it. Alright, so... I get HM HMO2 Fly, which, yeah, she's gonna say it's Fly, but I already know that. Gym Action 4 Tree, which actually makes sense, because they're, spoiler alert, the flying type gym. And Scott, goddammit, go away. Yeah, okay. Oh, she was angry? Why was she angry? Why'd you go back the same way you came? What? If you passed her on the way, then why are you heading but Whatever. I, I, I don't care anymore. Screw Scott. Okay, two trainers there. Uh, let's switch to get my other two. Hit me with a power cord! Victory is mine! It's our time to shine! Whoa, yeah! That was a good intro speech. I emerged to challenge you. Oh, no. Once again, your camouflage was stunning. Okay, Yasu. 
You know, was a youngster in Fire Red. Oh wow, this is a surprisingly good matchup. Assuming that Emerald won't miss on the Ninja Ask, which it might, sadly. Alright, it didn't, which should knock it out. Are they gonna have another Pokemon? They are not, okay. I like how he was rhyming in there, even though he rhymed it by saying oh no at the end. Something unseeable is in the way. Yeah, we'll be getting that a lot. To hide in a tree, use a forest! Or to hide a tree. Yeah, but why would you hide a tree? I like how his name had hide in it. I know that's not how you would say it, but it's still funny to me. Goodbye coughing. Wow, really? Gonna have another, another Pokemon reaching level 36 here. And then I'm gonna try my damnedest to get uh, Axel to level 36 as well in this video. Maybe even Plink it. That would be kind of amazing. Okay, KFC Grid level 36. Beat the Ninja Boy. And what? Kung Fu Chicken is evolving! And he's finally gonna turn into the actual Kung Fu Chicken. Which is... Blaziken. Blaziken is probably my favorite out of the final evolutions of the starters here. And trying to learn Blaze Kick, which is an awesome move, so I'm gonna teach it that. Let's show you Ember. Blaze Kick is at least twice as strong, and it has an increased critical hit rate, which is good. So, there's Blaze Kick. And now. A Pokeball there I could maybe reach if I actually have Waterfall, which I do not. Just grabbing some Pomag Berries real quick. Alright, there we go. Uh, switching Axel to the front of the party. Alright, let's just quick heal. And then proceed to ignore most of this town. Or city. I actually do really like this city. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it in uh, the remakes, because it's, it's really cool. It's a really cool concept. It's probably... One of the most unique cities in Pokemon in general, because there's tree houses everywhere! And there's something unseeable in the way. What a predicament we have found ourselves in. Oh, yeah. There, go, bird Pokemon! That's my wingles are running errands for me. Okay. Why'd you call it bird Pokemon then if you knew it was a wingle? <gasps> Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. Not really that interested, but mm, alright. Well, I suppose that's fine. Knock yourself out, I, I guess. Okay, Brasilia. Who's typing? I'm four times weak to, yet I'm still gonna just stay in Ice Beam it. Because that will most likely kill it. And it did. Wilmer. See no reason to switch against that. I'll just use my shot on it. And it should go down. Uh, okay, it, it mostly went down. Its HP went down, that's something. Whirlpool, don't care. Uh, 
And there they are again. Which, okay. You only want to be funny you already again, but... Sure, yeah, I definitely remember you. That was like two videos ago. It's not very hard to do that, then. Actually, it was like... Three? I think it's three. Alright, so have a loud red. Just gonna kill me. They do have a magneton now, though, so... That is a bit more terrifying. I'm gonna use Surf and Secret Power. Hopefully I can take out the Loud Red in this turn. Because I do not want it to kill me, and I didn't, but... It seems to be fine, because they fail to attack me. Or maybe they can't. I don't know. Or maybe it felt like it needed the power boost to take away one HP from my Shedinja. I do like how the AI is stupid sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Axel's level 36 already. And I guess Steve didn't go level 35. That's a shame. And Axel is evolving! So yeah, there we go. All three of my starters evolving in one video. Mostly because they all evolve at the same level. And there we go! Got a Swampert, whose second frame of animation looks really weird with that open mouth. But alright. Woman! Ugh. Fine, uh... Let me see... Endings... I'll do an ending. Uh... Isn't it? So, the full thing I said in all three things is, but, woman, and isn't it. Okay. I'm not, not, not sure what I'm supposed to get from that, but alright. Right, uh, this route has... Manina on it, okay. I was actually gonna say it the other way around. I was gonna say, this route has Absol on it, but... Or, this route has Manina on it, but I'm probably just gonna find... Actually, no, I probably wouldn't find that Absol, because it's rarer, but... Oh. Fury starts to be okay now that, it, that he intimidated me. Five times, nice. Sleuth is gonna do nothing. Now, if you would be caught, then that would be great. Uh, but yeah, this rod does have Absol. I do not need to catch it, though, because I got one in Coliseum. So it's already in my Pokédex. I will be catching one off screen, but not on screen. And that's like the rare thing on this route, or one of two rare things. Which the other rare thing is the interactable Pokémon that I've mentioned plenty of times already, and we've already seen in this game. And for some reason, I'm refusing to say what it is. There we go. Kind of Marina. So now we can all be happy forever. The Bite Pokémon. Okay. Do not wish to give it a nickname. So that's that dealt with. My Pokemon is strong, how about yours? Well, I don't know. They're all pretty strong. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure your single Swablu is very strong. Oh, you mean how, like, strong equals stong? Because it seems I like that one. Okay, oh. Shut up. I guess they were stronger. They were bigger, faster, and stronger, too. They're the first member of the DK crew. Hi, Steven. Hi, Random Shadow. Hmm, hi, Kevin. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I use, use this device and the invisible obstacle... No, no, rather right, just describe it and just show it. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm so startled right now. But, uh, yeah. Let's just fight this thing. And it's a Cacleon. Which is the thing that you can... Which is what all those invisible things are. So, let's just catch this thing. Because I need it for the Pokedex. Twice, okay. We're just gonna have a Fury Size battle here, or what are we gonna do? 
Okay. Mason up. Crap. Okay. Guess it wasn't meant to be. That's a pretty good experience. Okay. I like how he didn't see me actually battle in, in uh, Dufort. It actually makes sense if he did, but he didn't, so... And he just flies off. He didn't even, like, point up his Pokeball in a... frivolous fashion. I don't actually know what frivolous means. I do you know what eponymous means, but that's totally besides the point here. Okay, come on. Really? You wanna move over here? Meryl, I don't need you! I also like how you still can catch Meryl and not just Azumarill. Guess for some reason, until, until like, Platinum, Azumarill refused to ever be in the wild despite being a level 18 evolution. Use a Davin Scope again. And it's an Arcaclion. Fairy swipes and hopefully don't fail. Okay, it's it's in the orange with two fury swipes. I should be fine. I don't think this thing has a particularly low catch rate, so no, oh, come on. All right, cackling on one. Two, three, there we go. And Cackling was caught! Hooray! So, okay, not give a nickname to you. Even though that one should be the one that's named Leon, but shush. Nest Ball, which sucks. And now let's go into this little thing, because there is a cave down here. Uh, this cave has absolutely nothing in it. Just a TM for Sunny Day. Uh, I don't exactly remember what this cave is a reference to. It's something in Japanese mythology. Or culture, or... Yeah. I don't entirely remember. Uh, forgive me for not being 100% of my Japanese mythos, but... Yeah. I don't entirely remember what's there. I think this guy wants something to wants to trade something, or what do you do? Okay. Stronger than the gym leader, alright. Something unseeable is in the way. And this one is just gonna bugger off, alright. And there's the four tree gym. Which has funky puzzles. When Winona takes takes you to the battle, her face shines with a beautiful determination, not letting you witness that lovely sight. Well, if it's so lovely, wouldn't you want to share it with me? But, alright. Guess not. Umberto. He wants to keep it for himself. Okay, slashing Skarmory is not gonna work out that well. I'm gonna keep trying it though, hoping to get a critical, which I probably will not get. But I can hope. Okay, Fury Attack, don't do that much. Which it seems to not do, because it's a Skarmory and they're not known for their offensive power. Only for the defensive ones, so. I'm totally okay with that. I'm totes okay with that. Uh, I might just beat the Gym Trainer's here. In this video. Oh, now I got a critical. And then save the gym leader for some other time. Because it means I can go off, heal off screen. And I kind of want Blinket to evolve in this video. What? The ulti elegant battle style of bird Pokemon! Which isn't actually a type, so you're lying to me. You're not actually going to use a bird Pokemon. Oh god. Better learn her name, because it's Ashley. Okay, stop. Uh, I'm going 
going to use Slash on the Swablu and Secret Power on the Dodo. Even though the Dodo is faster, uh, it's also more fragile, so... Hopefully that'll work out for me. No, in my luck, it probably won't. Oh, okay. It did purely because the Dodua was an idiot. Uh, I wish I had, like, multiple targeting moves, but I don't. Alright, well, let's get rid of that thing, then. All you have Skarmory, which, that's gonna be terrible. And that didn't die. Oh crap, there, go there goes the strategy I was gonna go for, cause... I was gonna use Confuse Ray, but that's clearly not gonna work out for me. That also didn't work out. Okay, luckily they're choosing to... not attack... my... Shedinja, which... Trust me, I do not mind, but... it's just kind of odd. Actually, let's see if I can get a paralysis off on this Skarmory. Actually, wait, don't no, safeguard. I forgot! It isn't stronger either, so... Okay, you know what? Keep using Swift! This will work out for you, I'm sure. Just wait until the safeguard wears off. Or just attack it until it dies. Jolie, all right. Okay, sand attack. Not sure what it's trying to accomplish, but I'm sure that it isn't going to do so. Well, if lowering my accuracy was what it tried to do, then it failed that. Antropius. Okay. Can I beat this natural Harmonia Gropius? I'll see. Surprised I was the fastest there. And beat everything. Blink it didn't level up. Crap. Neither did Nega Steve. Come on, that was a beautiful battle there. Fine. Guess I'll just move on. Uh, I really should stop here. Okay, with that, uh, I think that's all for watching, and I'll see you guys the next time when we continue through with the 4-Tree Gym, because this will really take too long. So for now, 